Hi, my name is Sydney and I'm from Florida. And my question is, how can I talk about the gospel at work without crossing any boundaries and making people feel uncomfortable? We've been talking in this, this allegory about olives, right? Mm -hmm. Usually this, they could have been table olives or olive oil. You can invite someone to, to try something, to participate in something. So if, if I came up and said, James, hey, I have this olive oil, would you like to try some? Now you might say, no, thank you, I don't like olive oil, or there might be some other reason why you don't want to, but you might say, yeah, that's great. And I think it's many times just as, as simple as that, just making an invitation and then, and then seeing where the conversation goes from there. But most people wouldn't be offended at being offered something, whether it's olives or strawberries or some other, some other food product. And to take that metaphor a little further, the, the fruits and the products are not always overtly religious, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just something yeah. in your life. This is the thing we do. Here's how our family lives. If somebody's asking questions, then you can start to talk about the roots. Where does this come from? How's this grounded? How could you draw that, strain, draw that same power mm -hmm. and find it in your life? So I think one other thing I'd point out that's been helpful, I think curiosity goes a long way, right? We always want to tell people, but we're not always good at asking right. them, what's your story? Where are you from? What gives you strength in your life? And I find if you, if you ask those questions, a lot of times you learn, and then maybe there's, there's a return mm -hmm. curiosity, and they want to know some things about you, and then it's natural. Mm -hmm.